is this kind of real now? You know, you're um, in. Yeah, definitely. You know, I mean, you know, tomorrow is going to be a whole lot different. You know, I mean, we're going to wake up, you know, around 4.35, you know, and, you know, once we do that, you know, you can really feel the whole camp start, really, I guess. You know, I mean, today's, you know, more of a laid-back day. You know, we just, you know, do our tests and, you know, whatever. And then I think later on, you know, I think we're going bowling or something, you know. So, I mean, today's fun, you know, but tomorrow's, you know, really when it starts. With practice starting so early, do you guys have, like, a, a buddy to make sure they call to make sure the other guy's um, up? Or? Pretty much, you know, you have to count on your roommate, really. You know, I mean, uh, I mean that's just the way it's going to be, you know. But, I mean, it's kind of good, you know, to have it early just because you get it out of the way, it's not as hot. But the only part of that just sucks about that, you got to get up so early, you know, because we have to show up for breakfast, too, and all that. So, uh, but, I mean, you got to do what you got to do, right? Are you, are you a morning guy by nature? Um. I'm whatever, really. I mean, you know, um, sometimes I'll sleep until like 3 o'clock. Sometimes I'll wake up at 6 and be fine, you know. I mean, it just depends on the day, I guess. Is this going to mean, you know, bed times and stuff? Uh, yeah, I mean, you guys better go to bed early, you know, because otherwise, you know, it's not going to be a fun day for them. So. Who among some of those young receivers who may be trying to break into more playing time, who, who do you think might emerge from that group? Um, I mean, really, you know, there's a lot of guys that can play, you know, and I think this year, you know, we might use everyone a little bit more, you know, just to give some guys a rest, you know, just because of the way that we do run our offense, you know. I mean, we have guys, you know, running routes, play after play, you know, and just to give those guys a break, you know, and have someone come in, you know, like a guy like Dayla, you know, or, or Bug or, you know, um, Bargum or something, just to give someone a break, you know, and, you know, just – be able to still be on point, you know, and uh, that's something that, that we've done a good job of, is just making sure that everyone knows the responsibilities, you know, and knows what they're supposed to do. You guys come in now, maybe for the first time since you've been with an offense that's now expected to do great things. Do you like that, or do you still kind of like love up on people? I love it, you know, I mean, uh, really, you know, I mean, we got 10 guys coming back, you know, but, you know, we all know what to do, you know, and how to do it. And now, you know, we just have to go out there and do it, you know what I mean? Because you don't want to have, you know, uh, you know, 10 guys coming back and do nothing, you know what I mean? Because that just looks real bad, you know. I mean, so, you know, we're going to hold ourselves high, you know, you know, and, and really, you know, just keep pushing ourselves, you know, day after day and make sure that, that we really do, you know, whatever it takes, you know, to really just break out. Talk about Mike. In, in his role this year, and he's talking about being a leader and doing all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, Mike T, you know, I mean, he's like, I, you know, pretty much him, myself, I think Joe Longick, I think we're the only seniors really, you know. And uh, that's kind of good, you know, I mean, because you yeah, have Mike that really looks over a whole lot of receivers, you know, and, you know, I'm kind of there with the running backs and stuff like that, you know. And then, but, you know, Mike, he's done a real good job, you know, I mean, he's getting guys out there doing drills with him, you know, just kind of teaching him really, you know, and, uh, you know, he, he's been doing a good job, too, you know, of uh, practicing fast, you know, and just doing everything that he has to do to, so that he can show everyone the right way to do it. Does he have a chip on his shoulder again? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, Mike's a great player, you know, and Mike, Mike always, you know, expects great things himself, you know, and, uh, you know, that's something that him and I have together, you know, and that's, that's one reason, you know, why him and I, you know, are so good to you know, for each other because we both practice, you know, so much intense, you know, I mean, we both stay after, you know, and do the small things, you know, that we have to do, you know, just to get better. He talked about his height being held against him a little bit. Do you think that motivates him? Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, I mean, because, you know, there's a lot of people say that, you know, that short guys, you know, I mean, you know, when you look at, you know, the draft, you know, I mean, really, you know, you don't get a guy that's, you know, under six foot, you know, that goes anywhere, really, you know. And, uh, you know, I mean, he just wants to go out there, you know, and show everyone that, that you know, he's, he's talented, you know, he's fast, he, that pretty much he can do it all, you know. And, uh, you know, that's something that we know he can do, you know, so he just has to go out there and do it. All right. You can play your offensive line a little bit. I mean, you, you got to like this guy. Oh, yeah. You know, size and depth-wise and everything else. Yeah, like definitely. You know, I mean, you know, the one thing about our line, too, is that they play so well with each other. You know, I mean, uh, they really know, you know, what – what one guy's doing, you know, what the other guy's doing, so that when they're all down there, you know, they know exactly where the guy next to him is going to be, you know, and that's something that 
that helps them out so much. And you know, I mean, I'm fine with it. You know, definitely. You know, but secure you've been with the group. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. I think so. You know, plus you know we we have a lot of depth this year. You know, I mean, we brought in a whole bunch of JC guys. You know, and that just helps build competition. You know, makes guys better. So. And when you look at them, they, just, they look bigger. I mean, what does that do for you? What, what does this line? What will this line help you do? You know, well, really, you know, our line moves us. You know, I mean, um, you know, them five, you know, myself, you know, we we move the team. You know, I mean, because without them, you know, we can't get a play started. You know, and that's just that's just the way it is. You know, I mean, that's football. You know, that's how it goes. You know, wherever you are, you know, um, you know, if, if you have a good old line, you know, then you can be able, you know, sit there. And, you know, read coverages forever, you know, and that's uh, that's something that, that we definitely plan on doing this year. Two years ago, they were being criticized for not being good enough. Talk about how far they've come. Uh, they've come, uh, you know, real, real far, really, you know, I mean, especially last year, you know, learning a new scheme, you know, and, you know, doing everything that they did last year. And, you know, last year, you know, I, I felt like I barely got touched, <laughs> you know, and that's, uh, you know, that's how this office is supposed to work, you know, and those guys did a great job really, you know, just – you know, doing everything they can, you know, to learn the offense, you know, learn their schemes and, and uh, things like that, you know, and that's why this year they're going to be so much better. What can a casual fan expect to see as a difference or expect from the offense in year two in the system? Uh, really, you know, I, you know, I just think that, that we're, we're going to have a little bit more fire on this, this year, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, we're going to move the ball, you know, without a doubt, you know, that's how I feel, you know, I mean, that's, that's what we should do, really, you know, and, uh, you know, now just on us to go out there and do it. So. Is there a young guy or maybe a guy who didn't play much last year on the defense who impressed you? Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, you got players all over, you know, there's pretty much all the corners, you know, I mean, because they really, you know, didn't play at all, really, you know, but, uh, you know, they're all talented. They're all, you know, going to battle for that job. You have uh, Xavier Kelly, uh, who's done a real good job at linebacker. You know, he's flying around making plays. You have... Adrian McCovey, uh, I mean, pretty much, you know, everyone else played, you know, f- for the most part. And, uh, you know, our D-line should be real good this year, too, you know, just from watching them in workouts, you know, things like that. They uh, they definitely seem like they're ready, too. So.